Excuse me! Hello everyone! This time we have Studio Series 86 movie Dinobot Slag. Welcome to Cram Seek Review channel once again. Hopefully you enjoy my videos. So this time we are looking at the 86 movie Slag. He's a leader class figure, that same of Grimlock. So here he is in all his glory. So all I can say is Hasbro really did a good job with these Dinobot. See in details, even on the back, you can see those panel linings and surfaces. And the design is very much G1 accurate. And this is by far the best slag version in the cartoons that Hasbro has released. And he's very much at par with that of the Studio Series Grimlock. It's very good. As you can see the head here, it's very G1 accurate. He's got that large Autobot logo on his chest and a full red torso with a black paint app on his stomach. And as you can see the knees as well, there's a paint there, the green and blue on top of the knees. And there are no hollow parts um, on his legs. And as you can see the wings, it's also painted in black and silver to accent it more. And that glossy gold color on his, on his tail. It's very nice. So yep. Here we have 86 movie slag. So now we're going to look at his articulation. So basically the head rotates and it moves up a bit, moves down a bit. And the arms rotate and it's in ratchet joints. The elbows also fold and the waist also rotates. Mine is still stiff at the moment. And his legs move forward and it's ratcheted. It also moves backward like this. And the knees also is ratcheted. It's got a bit of um, ankle rockers there. The ankle rockers, yeah. So basically, it's very poseable. It's got these flaps on his shoulders. I think it's, it's part of the crest on his Dinobot mode. So basically this kibble on the back, like the backpack, it really holds well. You just have to clip it well at the back part of him. So he comes with two accessories, which is his gun, the one he's holding here, as you can see. It's very G1 accurate as well. And we have this accessory figure, which is Daniel, a very much simplified beloved character and accessory which is Daniel. And as you can see here, they didn't paint uh, part of the head or the helmet, but it's painted green on the legs. It's basically the same as that of wheelie figure as an accessories. So let's take him out of there for now. So now I'm excited to transform him. So now let's try to do that. And first we open up his chest like this, bring down the head and then bring this part up that would serve as the upper part of the dinosaur's head and the jaw, lower jaw as well. And then with the chest, you have to move it because there was a peg there that you have to fold him inwards, and make him have a tighter chest or torso. So you have to move it in there, still kind of stiff. So there, and once you get that, you will now bring the part of the breastplate up once again there that'll hold it so now you have the arms so it's very simple you just rotate the wrist then slide them in inwards in the leg part of the dinosaur or leg part of the front legs of slag like that and we have the front legs of slag and then you pull this part of the backpack Spread them out like that because it will cover the top part of the dinosaur. And rotate the waist this time. And move the leg upwards like this. And fold the knee. Move the other leg as well. And there. And then you flip this part of the rear of the legs so that you could bring out the hind legs of the dinosaur. This one's getting in the way. There. So you bring it back down. And then fold the knees and place it there 
and you can already see the bottom part or the rear part of the Dynabot so now we do the other leg as well fold this up fold the knees once again and there's a peg that holds them there together you clip it that way and then you bring the wings and the and the tail part which is sandwiched between the two legs there's a peg that holds there as well you have to clip it properly so it doesn't move around and it pretty much holds very well and then with regards to the wings which will be the side panels of the dynabot make sure that the panels are aligned correctly so that you avoid any gaps and it fits perfectly well and now we bring out the hind legs that's coming out from this cylinder as you can see there that's the only hollow part i think that i can see from this leg from the dynabot mode of slag there so we're just clipping some parts to make sure that everything's clipped together and there we have our dynabot slag out mode the triceratops and you can also remove this horn if you want to it's optional but i don't know why they've made it that way but he's gonna stick in there then you have, can put the the gun and serve as a tip of the tail of the dynabot so that's a pretty genius way of hiding that accessory and his front legs also rotates in ratchet except for the hind legs it also rotates but it's not in ratcheted and it's less or it's much thinner compared to the front legs kind of reminds me of the power of the prime slag version where he had thin legs and as you can see the details of this dinosaur the head of the dinosaur it's very nice well detailed look at those lines on his forehead that autobot logo as well and of course his lower jaw opens up he's got those five millimeter pegs as well and those mechanical looking ports except for the rear legs that has the hollow part it doesn't really bother me now but look at the look of that see you can also spread these front legs as well look at those line panelings i love it and you can also use these blast effects from the wire for cybertron series toys it comes with skylinks you can use it as slags flaming 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 mouth when he shoots out his fire breathing dynabot as you can see here you can also use that fire blast effect in this dynabot and i may also have to show you how those ports come up with when you put some weapons in it like weaponizers and as for these part where you put daniel on top of him like riding a bull there basically how Daniel rides on top of slag just showing it for you guys now let's get Daniel out of the way once again fix this quest so yep yeah. look at those details those panelings I really love those panelings um, got more panelings compared to grimlock if you might say so so here he is with um leader class grimlock as well with his um beryllium baloney leader there and for looking at the size comparison slag's got a bigger dinosaur head compared to grimlock's grimlock is taller of course because he's standing up but slag is really bulky and I love it i love this guy very perfect for these series so hopefully they make they complete the series as well with sludge swoop and even snarl so this is what it looks like from the bottom if you look at it there's also those um five millimeter pegs there if you want to attach a weapons underneath so let's try to give him some weapons and attach it underneath here we have cog just an example you can attach weapons there as well and on the sides on the top there you can put those weapons those weaponizers uh, mine's a bit loose on the shoulder part of the front legs and on the top maybe it's because of cog's weapon i don't know i'm not sure 
But yeah, you can put those weaponizers or those weapons on those 5mm ports as shown here. So now we're going to transform him back to his robot mode just to show you guys the steps as well once again. So we make this part of the back of the dinosaur, the tail, spread these side panels once again and then put these hind legs back to its position like that so it really hides well then you bring out the legs once more and you flip this thing out once again so that you could fold in the hind legs and hide it in the rear legs of Dinobot's leg do the other part of the leg as well lift this up fold them in and then you have the hind legs of slag and then rotate the waist like that so now we're facing the back of the robot remove the gun from the tip of the tail and then there's a peg here that holds together with the crest the back part of the dinosaur which serves as the wing as well when he's in robot form and these golden parts they clip in together and there you can see here so it pretty much holds it you gotta look for the peg that holds it but it does hold it so there gotta fix that there and then with the arms it's basically the same get him out of the way for now open this part of the chest and bring out this open up this part of the torso once again so that it will be will be more hefty or spread his chest outwards once again mine is still a bit stiff so bear with me on this but yeah as you can see here make sure they are aligned together before you slide in the mouthpiece of the dinosaur and bring out slag's head one more time and close this front part of the chest once again for that the ease and there and then we bring out the the wrist slag once again very easy like this and then rotate it do it on the other arm as well i don't have nails so it's sometimes harder to pull them out you just have to do it like this and there and you rotate the, the the hands once again and you have Dinobot Slag in his robot form once again. So you guys can skip this part if you already know how the process goes. Then you attach the gun there on the right arm. So he's standing well. Let me fix my camera there. So with those details, so you have to clip these part on the rear of the crest of the dinosaur so there he's got his wings as well and there we have leader class studio series 1986 movie dinobot slag you can see the colors and the panel lines and those details that they made with this figure it's very nice very accurate the g1 and here he is with leader class grimlock once again in his robot form this time you can see the height difference Grimlock's a bit taller but because of the Triceratops hood uh, it seems that Slag looks a bit taller and here they are with their creators um, Earthrise Ratchet and Wheeljack and also the Autobot leader Optimus Prime and a little bit of homage to the Shark Decon for Grimlock here just to show you there in the back so yeah, just for size comparison, these guys are really huge, very tall. And here they are with their Petro Rabbit companions, the Storyteller Cup, and Hot Rod. If you guys remember during the movie that these guys were together in the ship. And here's Wheelie and Daniel once again, showing their accessories here. So it's basically the same figure when it comes with its engineering. It's just a basic figure and you can attach them on top of the shoulders, left shoulders of both Dinobots here. 
Let me show it to you. So that's how they sit on top of these Dinobots with Willie and Daniel, are uh, those most beloved characters in the movie and in season three. Overall, my opinion of this um, leader class Dinobot is, I could say he's perfect. Disregard the uh, Daniel accessory or Wheelie accessory. But when it comes to the official Dinobots that we are currently having right now, Hasbro is really doing a good job. Hopefully they complete the series as well with the other three Dinobots. So hopefully you guys enjoyed my video once again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.